got to remember, I, 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 I'm not going to get into what happens on, at school. I can only tell you what happens uh, procedural law-wise. We have to remember that they have constitutional rights. Okay, They still have those rights. We still have to go through uh, the process. Uh, if they don't want to talk, they have the right to have an attorney. Uh, we also, I, I, I have said this, their families and their parents have been completely cooperative. And I have almost 30 years of law enforcement experience. Very rarely does an individual come forward the first time and say, did you take, when I ask you, did you take that cookie out of the cookie jar? No, mom, I didn't do it. Follow-up question, follow-up question. Bobby, where's the crumbs? Why are the crumbs on your mouth? Those types of questions that follow up. And so we had four, we had three kids that we were interviewing. And we interviewed those kids multiple times Wednesday. My detectives didn't clear until midnight. Picked it right back up again on Thursday morning. Ran all day Thursday. Late Thursday, they got they got information of a fourth student. And 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 picked up that student. So you know, we 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 have rules that we have to live by, and that what we have to do. And judgment calls were made in in the sense of, of what school did. But I can tell you that we did everything within the rules that, that we are governed by. And that is that th those young men still have constitutional rights and we need to make sure, because we violate them, then the case is over. Yeah. I know. Yeah.